Deck Profile 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um, yeah, this time it's witches, because that's a thing. Remember back, like, six years ago when Soulless OTT was meta? Yeah, this isn't, but one of the cards is the same, so, yeah. Let's have a grand old time. Laws of Vegas, it's your starter in V, ye. Uh, four copies of Scarlet Witch Co. Uh, when you ride on top of a two, you can draw a card. Or, uh, Counter Blast when Soul Blast a three, draw two and discard as many witches as you want, and you just get that many Protect Gifts, which is cool. Um, so yeah, she's cool, because if you ride her first, you just get a free plus. If you ride her second, you get a cost an even bigger plus, that can also just kind of force you to get gives yeah so she's she's good good card next the, the honestly the finisher of the deck is wisteria which zozo uh it's when it attacks you reveal as many protect gifts in your hand as you want which is stupid because your opponent can see the amount of protect gifts in your hand so i don't know why you need to reveal them but whatever. So basically, you do that thing, okay? And then after you do that thing, you. What do you do? Oh, yeah, your front row gets 5k for each one you reveal. So if you reveal three protect gifts, uh, your front row gets 15. Let's say you ride Coco, draw a card, because you wrote on top of a 2. You ride another Coco, counter blast 1, soul blast a 3, draw 2. Dump out a bunch of witches, get a bunch of protect gifts. Ride this one, get another protect gift, your front row is going to be thick. Uh, also, uh, when it hits a vanguard, counter blast 1, draw 1. Uh, on hit pressures, cool, I guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, so that's what it does. It's uh, also a pretty good card. I'm still only running 8 grade 3s, mostly for the consistency, and, like, Zozo kind of acts as your finisher, but also you kind of want to save 3s in Sulfur Coco skill, so no Victorious Deer here. It's fine. Uh, Topaz Witch, uh, Pee Pee. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, 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 ha! Um, yeah. So, during your turn, if you have four more in hand, she becomes a 10k, so she's like a small imperial, pro small promise daughter. But also, when a witch, um, rides on top of her, soul blast one draw card. So, what's cool is you can soul blast herself. So, let's say she's your vanguard. You ride Coco. Coco's on ride. Get a draw. Then Peepee's thing. You rode a witch on top of her. Soul last one. Draw another card. Plussing. So that's pretty cool synergy. So yeah. That's why you run her at four. She's pretty cool. Uh, next, we got the OTT staple crowd. For uh, Cactangle Magus. Uh, yeah. Counter blast one. Soul blast another one. Draw some cards. Oh, wait, that's you don't draw cards. I don't... God, I'm fucking tired. Uh, counter blast one, soul blast one. Check top two. You can... Dwa quad. Check top two, add... You add one to your hand and send the other back. It's That's what it does, basically. I don't, I don't care what the specifics mean. That's really what the card do. Um... Yeah. So she's really good. Still probably my favorite OTT card. Then four copies of Promise Daughter. So like it is a witch deck, but there aren't enough witches to make it like an archetype like Magus is. So you can still run Promise, which is great to fuck over Shadow Paladin. Uh, it's if you have four more in hand, uh, 6k. And uh, it can't be retired by card effects, but you can choose it just to make people sad. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like, I like I like her. I like her a lot. Yeah, so she's a good card. Uh, grid ones. Uh, ooh. A sprout witch Roro. 
Uh, when it boosts an attack that hits a vanguard, counter blast one, move to soul, draw a card. And when your grade three witch is placed on van, uh, while Roro is in the soul, you can soul blast a card that isn't herself to call her to rear. So basically, she's in your soul. You So you did Las Vegas. You ride, you draw, you ride a card, ride that. Soul Blast, something that isn't Roro, get Roro back. And then you can use Roro's boosty thing again, which is cool. So basically what you want to do every game is ride Roro, then ride this thing, then ride... It doesn't really matter which grade three. Ha, <laughs> get it, which. I'm funny. Uh, the Atlas, you should uh, fucking uh, turn to me for stand-up comedy help. Um... So yeah, what you do, you do this thing, you ride Coco, first you draw a card, then Pee Pee, Soul Blast yourself, draw a card, Roro, Soul Blast yourself, call. Whoa, it's Soulless OTT. It's almost like we're playing Scarlet Witch Kokoko. Wow, amazing, great, neat. That's, that's that. Uh, wow. Four copies of Tetramagus. Uh, do you like forcing crits? Because I do. She does. Just draw a card, put a crit back. It's easy. There's one, two, three. Um, yeah, draw on place, counter boss one, draw a card, take a crit, put it on, dop of your deck, and just drive it away. Just like my dad. Uh, yeah, she's a good card. Next, four copies of Orc Guardian Gemini. Uh, it gives you soul and counter charging in standard, which is litty. So, yeah, that's, that's why you run her. Or them. Boys. Next is a new card is a wheel crane. I only run it at one because it's neat. It's a, it's a nice sp spocky tech. When you draw a card, move it into the soul. Two rear guards in your front row get 10k. What I don't like about it is they already you need to give it to the front row, which is kind of annoying, but like because of the wording of both rectangle and tetramagus, they both let you draw cards. So you can just have wheel prepared and have stuff in your front row and just use those. So yeah, wheel's kind of cool for giving beady boys. Um, uh, there wasn't really much else I wanted to run. I didn't want to run the circle magus because it's not that great on rear. Like it's fine on rear, but like it's on ride ability is kind of irrelevant. Especially now given all the things like rectangle and tetra that are just leagues better. Ha, <laughs> league. Get it? LOL. Uh, yeah. Uh, fucking triggers. For weather forecaster? Miss Mist! Ha! Huh. Miss Miss. It's funny. It's a joke. It's a joke. Um, she's a perfect guard. Uh, four of the, the heel trigger. Oh, wait, that's only three. Well, guess I gotta do the other art just to bother people. Joke's on you, I'm running five. Nah, I'm only running four because that's cheating. Um. Well, I'm really tired after doing... I got off of a plane like three hours ago, so all of these deck profiles are gonna just sound like garbage. Uh... For Psychic Burby, it's a fucking bird. I love him. And then, uh, Oracle Guardian, uh, Nike, she, she's good at fisting. Yeah, that's my deck profile. Richard, slap on that 22 second outro, get us vapor. Like, comment, subscribe. Ooh, woo!